Now, growing up in the early 2000s, there was a lot of things that I did in life and a lot of things I witnessed that I just don't see anymore. I mean, everything is so different now. And it really hits me during these holiday times. The other day, I went into Walmart for Black Friday. And damn, son, Black Friday just not hitting like it used to. I remember my mom used to actually camp out Thanksgiving night, stay in a line of people, sleep in a tent, trying to get into this store. Whether it was Walmart, Target, the mall, she would camp out to get the best deals that were actually deals nowadays you go on them jones and they talking about they marked it down it's the same price it was last week yo it was a viral video going around on tiktok where this white girl was going through target showing that the sale prices were just the regular prices they ain't even bother taking the regular prices down they just hit them behind the sale price what you think we idiots ain't even like that no more black friday in the early 2000s you could go into walmart get your ass a tv dvd player 18 dvds some slim gems and all that shit only run you like a hundred times has really changed y'all shit crazy and that's why today we gonna compare and contrast the things that i noticed about the early 2000s and the things i noticed nowadays life really different y'all some good shit and some bad shit but i mean at the end of the day it's some shit you feel me first let's talk about video games right all right let's break this down real quick the early 2000s with video games was mad fire all right and today with video games is fire but for different reasons that's the thing it's not that video games suck now nah they some guys and they were some guys back then too it's just gas for different reasons because see in the early 2000s we didn't have all that fancy high graphic stuff we didn't have all the new super innovative you know type of shit we ain't got vr headsets none of that crazy shit right but what we did have was new for the time for instance right one of my favorite game systems is the nintendo 64. now going from playing on like goddamn you know atari systems that did the, the nes i ain't really get to play on the atari that's kind of super old i ain't that old but i was playing on like the nes the super nintendo entertainment system shit like that going from that to the 64 was crazy for the time you playing three 3D games. Bro, Super Mario 64 is one of the best games to this day. People still speed run that shit, boy. Be on that bitch throwing Bowser in the spikes. So long, Zay Bowser. You throwing him in the spikes and all that? Motherfucker mad as shit, boy. And that's, you know, what life was. One of my most fondest memories was playing the first FPS I ever played, bro. James Bond Goldeneye. And you know what is so gas about that game? It's because you at home with it. You playing with your friends in the crib. That don't really happen no more because everything nowadays is online, yo. I remember this one time we was in there playing James Bond Goldeneye. This happened. Yo, Shan, what's good, Shan? Yo, Shan, hold on, Shan. I know damn well, Shan, that y'all not in here playing that new James Bond, Shan. Yeah, but we on that James Bond right now, son. I ain't gonna lie, Goldeneye and all that. Hey, look, yo, I got the golden gun and shit. Damn, Shan, you got the golden gun, Shan? Oh, now nah, you going crazy, Shan. Hold on, Shine. Let me get this stick, Shine. You got this man, Big Tim, on here, Shine. And that's your boy, Tyrone, Shine. That's some bullshit. <laughs> Big Tim here. <laughs> Tyrone, I need you to shut the fuck up. I'm out here going crazy right now. Just found an RPG. Ha <laughs> dude. You got a rocket launcher, dude. <laughs> What you compensating for a little dick with that big gun? <laughs> uh, big Tim here. Kyle, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna hit you with a rocket launcher in real life. Man, will you guys calm down, Shine? Let me see that shit, Shine. So see, my boy Tyrone hop on the game, bro. We start playing James Bond. I'm thinking everything's sweet. Man, this dude Tyrone starts losing. And then I realized that, you feel me? My homie Tyrone, who is obviously not Tyrone. By the way, really quickly, just in case y'all didn't know, these characters I make aren't real people. The people that I talk about in my videos I don't want to dox them or, you know, give my actual friends names up. So I use all the characters as placeholders. I've explained this before, but people keep asking me. So I just wanted to reiterate that. All right, anyways. So my man Tyrone, he got really, really mad when he lost. And this friend in particular, you feel me, that Tyrone is playing this is a friend that he just be raging. Bro be getting mad to this day. Can't even play 2K with this nigga. He be getting tight. And this dude threw my damn controller on the ground and it shattered everywhere. Now, although this is a negative thing, you know, it's some bullshit. He broke my controller. That wouldn't have happened nowadays, bro. You barely be in the crib playing with your homies. Why be in the crib together when you can just play online? So I think the thing about early video games that I like the most is the fact that there was a lot of camaraderie that came with it, as opposed to nowadays where everything's just online. I mean, you playing 2K with your homie in Taiwan, your homie in New York, 
your other homie in London, and you got that one homie, that nigga in jail playing. Don't make no damn sense. Bro, got a headset in jail. Yo, what's good, Joe? Hey, hold on, man. We gotta get this game in real quick. It's almost child time. What you mean, child time? Nigga, I'm in prison. What the fuck? In prison for what? I murdered 18 people. What the fuck? Oh, hell no. The next thing I want to talk about, bro, is basically how my day-to-day -day goes. It's so different from when I was younger to now. And I think, you know, obviously a lot of it is to do with the fact I was a kid and I'm an adult now. But I'm talking about like my free time in particular. And it's not even because my interests have changed. I still have the same interests. It's just like how I do those interests now till then, so different, bro. Like back then life was so much simpler. For instance, like TV, right? Watching TV. I still like watching TV. I like movies. I like, you know, obviously anime and stuff. But back then it was so simple, bro. You got like maybe 60, 70 channels to choose from. Like eventually in the like early 2010s and stuff, you know, maybe, maybe really like 2008, 2009 or whatever, like digital cable became a big thing. And there was like more channels and shit. But bro, now I, I just went to my uncle's house recently and I was like on his TV. There's like 2000 channels, man. What the fuck? What do you need 2,000 channels for? What am I gonna do with that? Hell no, nah. bro. I should not be having to scroll through 2,000 channels. It take me so long to find something to watch on today's TV that by the time I find it, I don't want to watch no more, bro. That shit's trash. Whereas opposed to like back in the day, bro, you got like 60, 70 channels. You know where everything is, bro. Now, when I was growing up, 55 was Cartoon Network, 54 was Nickelodeon, 56 was Disney Channel. You know what I'm saying? And then you had like other stuff like Spike TV was on 40. You know what I'm saying? FX was on 37. I think BT was uh 72. TV one was 71. MTV was 73. VH1 was 74. And then Fox was five. Oh man, it was hella shit. PBS was like eight, I think. God damn. And then when you broke, you got three channels. You got 16, 28, 47. CBS, PBS, and goddamn. ABC, you feel me? ABC was always all fucked up. He barely could get that, John. Bro, to this day, I don't know how this works, but if you put a cable cord in the back of your TV and you like placed it like correctly in the right place, you could like watch these channels. It was really crazy and I never understood it, but like you could pick these channels up by like having the damn cable cord a certain way. It was weird, bro. I don't know if they was like the TV was using it as an antenna. I, I honestly don't know, bro. Have no idea. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But man, that's just how that shit went, bro. My interest was so different. TV was different. Playing the game was different. Shit, even outside was different. Bro, it was way less dangerous when I was a kid than now. I'm not even gonna lie though. Like now, bro, I live in a decent neighborhood. I still don't even wanna be outside that long, bro. The other day, bro, keep in mind, I'm in the suburbs, like a suburban area now, bro. I'm hearing gunshots. I don't know if this niggas was hunting, you feel me? Or, or, or somebody got shot. But bro, I'm hearing gunshots in the suburb. Bro, when I was growing up, bro, I was in the hood, like my whole life. I feel like less safe now than I did when I was a kid being in the hood, bro. I'm not gonna hold you, bro. Like that, that shit is out of pocket. I went back to my hood recently. Like I go back there maybe like once every like two, three weeks. Bro, it's way worse, bro. More drug users out there. It'd be like, yo, I was dead ass walking around the parking lot. It's needles on the ground and shit. I'm like, bro, I mean, that happened when I was a kid, but it's like a lot though. Like, bro, what the fuck? Then like people that never had guns just walking around with guns now. I'm like, yo, it was this one little dude out there. He was 10 years old with a strap at 10. Shit out of pocket, son. The world that we in is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. Like when 10 year olds got accessibility to weaponry, that's crazy, bro. When I was 10 years old, we was just fighting. We ain't had no guns. Like I ain't gonna lie, it was real, but not like that. I wasn't worried about, damn, is this 10 year old gonna roll up on his BMX bike and then shoot me while he's standing on the pegs? Motherfucker did a trick shot on you. <laughs> bro, life is crazy right now, son. I'm not gonna hold you. Even the little kids trying to scam and stuff now, bro. I had a kid come up to my car the other day at the hood and this happened. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, Sam, what's good, Sam? Yo, what's good with you, Pee Wee? Man, what's good, bro? Listen, man, listen, listen, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get a couple dollars, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Get my money up, not my funny up, you feel me? Now listen, man, I need you to do me a favor, all right? All right, like, what kind of favor? All right, listen, hear me out, right? I need you, you feel me, to get me all the fucking money in your pocket, son. What? What? Is you, is you robbing me right now? 
man, look, man, you know what I'm saying? I would say I'm scamming you right now. Not robbing, but I mean, I am robbing you. You know what I'm saying? But I need that. You feel me? And I, you know what I'm saying? I'm only, I'm only, I'm only 10 years old, but I got that shit on you right now. Look, look, look now, bro, you got a gun on me. Man, you know what the fuck it is, man. Now empty your pockets, son. Empty your fucking pockets. My fucking kid robbed me the other day, bro. I ain't gonna, nah, I'm playing, y'all. That ain't what happened. <laughs> nah, I be trying to tell the truth. And 99% of my stories, but I embellish things a little bit. The little kid didn't rob me, but he did ask me for bread so he could go to the store. And I said no. And he's like, well, my mom really needs some medicine. And obviously I felt terrible, so I gave it to him, bro. But that's how I felt. I felt like he robbed me at gunpoint by gaslighting me with his sob story. That shit... <laughs> That's it out of pocket, yo. I ain't gonna lie. All in all, though, man, life is just mad different nowadays, man. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You think everything's sweet, bro. It ain't sweet out here, man. Shit, cruise you.